Um, I have some photos of the Hawaii Plantation Village. Uh, last year we did a ghost tour. This one person would take pictures and she'd always catch something in her camera. One of them that I have is she took a picture at the general store here. And in the window, the first shot she took, you could see a formation of a skull. The next frame, you could see the whole skeleton. This girl took a picture in the Portuguese house. And that story is a little girl had burnt there. So in the mirror, you can see a shadow of the girl. It was her reflection, it would be tall. I don't care what you do. And there weren't, really, there weren't kids on that, that tour. That's that one. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night, terrified, unable to move, the air in your lungs being pressed out. Maybe you're one of many who've already experienced this. Uh, so this was a few years ago when I was still in college and I was home visiting for winter break. And our house is really old. It's built in the 60s. So there's always some kind of presence that you feel whenever you go into the house. Um, but one night I woke up all of a sudden and I felt like I was being watched. And I noticed that there was actually a black figure standing next to my bed. My room was dark, but this shadow was darker. And I remember I couldn't see through it. Um, I couldn't make out a face, but it, to me it seemed like it was like almost like a shadow of a person. And I couldn't move, I couldn't breathe. And when I tried to scream, nothing came out. So I started to panic and I closed my eyes and I started to say the Lord's Prayer. And when I was done, I opened my eyes and I could move and I could breathe. And whatever that black figure was, it was gone. There's a story um, about something called the choking ghost, which is really prominent in the central, um, central part of the islands. One night I was sleeping and about three o'clock in the morning, I felt something holding me down. And it was to the point where I couldn't breathe and nothing could move um, except my little pinky. And people attribute this to uh, sleep paralysis. What makes my story different is on top of me not being able to move and not being able to talk, something actually forcefully pushed my head to the side. And it was like a dream state I was in. And I was fighting and fighting until I finally just gave up and gave in and it let loose. And I, I was fully awake at that point. So I sat up and looked around the room just to see you know, what was going on. I noticed what time it was and little details around the room. And I went back to sleep, woke up the next morning, um, told my mom what had happened. And it was then I found out that my grandfather passed away. So she told me that maybe that was my grandfather visiting me, um, coming to tell me goodbye but didn't want me to see him thinking that I'd be afraid of him. So that was, that was my first experience with the paranormal. 